So in this video I'd like to look at another example of a contour integral. This is slightly different to my previous examples. In this case I'm given a function and I'm asked to integrate it over some different contours. Here I'm asked to integrate it over the circle mod z equals 1 and here I'm asked to integrate it over another circle mod z minus 2i equals 2. But before I start drawing these contours out, I'll first look at where the poles of my function are because the location of those poles will dictate the value of my integral. So where are the poles of this function? Well, you'll notice that I can factorize z squared plus 4 in the following way. I can write z squared plus 4 as z minus 2i times z plus 2i. So you notice that I've instantly got poles at z equals 2i and z equals minus 2i. So let's write that down. So I've got poles at z equal to 2i and z equal to minus 2i. Now you notice that these poles both have order 1. So let's draw these on an argon diagram, like so. So I've got my first pole is up here, so that's 2i. And my second pole is down here, that's minus 2i. So now that I've found the poles, what happens when I integrate over these two separate contours? Well first let's look at the contour mod z equals 1. So let me draw the contour in a bigger diagram. So the circle mod z equals 1 is just a circle of radius 1 centered at the origin, which looks something like this. So this is a circle of radius 1 centered at the origin. It's going to intersect the imaginary axis at the points i and minus i. It's also going to intersect the real axis at the points 1 and minus 1, although I don't really care about that at the moment. Notice that my poles do not lie inside this contour. I had a pole at z equals 2i, which lies here, which is outside the circle, and I've also got a pole at z equals minus 2i, which lies outside the circle. So this is minus 2i and this is plus 2i. So what does this say about the value of my integral? Well, since I've got no poles inside the contour C, mod z equals 1, then my integral just evaluates to 0 by Cauchy's theorem. So in other words, by Cauchy's theorem, so by Cauchy's theorem, since there are no poles inside my contour, this integral is just zero. So the integral over mod z equals one of one over z squared plus four dz is just zero. So that's part A. So part A is done. Now let's look at part B. For the second contour, I'm asked to integrate my function over the contour mod z minus 2i equals 2. Well, first of all, what does this contour look like? So let's draw the contour mod z minus 2i equals 2. So what does this look like? Well, let's draw a diagram. Well, it's a circle of radius 2, and it's centered at 2i. So its center is at 2i, and it has radius 2. So it's going to look something like this. Since this is a contour of radius 2, we can find out where this circle intersects the imaginary axis. Well, since it has radius 2, this point has got to be 4i, because it's a distance of 2 from the, or from the uh, center of the circle. Likewise, this point has got to be 0, because it has to be 2 away from 2i. So, do any poles lie inside this contour? Well, my poles were 2i and minus 2i. Certainly, I've got a pole at 2i inside my contour. I've also got a pole at minus 2i. But this pole does not lie inside my contour, so the only pole that I care about is the pole at 2i. So what does it say about my integral? Well, you might remember that I can use the residue theorem to evaluate this. 
So what happens when I do that? Well, using the residue theorem, we know that the residue of my function f of z at the point z equals 2i, well that's just equal to the limit as z approaches 2i of z minus 2i times my function that I'm trying to integrate. The function I'm trying to integrate is 1 over z squared plus 4. So this is z minus 2i times 1 over z squared plus 4. What can I do now? Well, I've already factorized the denominator. So this, quite nicely, can cancel. Well, on the top I've got z minus 2i, and on the bottom I've got z minus 2i times z plus 2i. And immediately you see that these two factors, z minus 2i, z minus 2i cancel. So what I'm left with is the limit as z approaches 2i of 1 over z plus 2i. And this, this uh, limit is quite easy to evaluate, it's just 1 over 4i. Because 1 over 2i plus 2i is 1 over 4i. Now if I use the residue theorem, so using the residue theorem, this says that the integral over the circle z minus mod z minus 2i equals 2 of 1 over z squared plus 4 dz, that's just 2 pi i times the sum of my residues. Well, I've only got one residue because there is only one pole that lied inside my contour. So it's 2 pi i times the sum of the residues, which is just 1 over 4i, which is 2 pi i over 4i, so over 4i, the i's cancel, and I'm left with pi over 2. So that's how I evaluate an integral over different contours. If you liked what you saw and you'd like to see more of it, then make sure you subscribe and leave a like or a comment below. Thanks for watching.